What's up guys, James here from Seekerhost and today we're going to be looking at how to add a video gallery to our WordPress such as this one. As you can see it displays the videos, the times, you can click on the videos and watch them further. You can search for your videos, you can also search by category and of course you can add searching by tags as well. It's a fantastic way of doing this and the plugin is free. You don't need to upload all your videos to your actual WordPress itself and you can use links. You can also take out or add menus that you actually get from the links itself. By that I mean you can even have the YouTube playback links or you can have your own playback links. As you can see as I click on this video here it's going to open up. It's going to open up with a thumbnail as well and then you have your normal playback options. Of course you can change this so you have your YouTube playback options because this is simply a link from YouTube. If I click it, you should see up there that we get them. Meaning that you can choose to either link your content from the platform that it come from or have it looking like it's more on your site itself. Of course, this comes with a description and with all-in-one SEO, you can also add SEO to your videos as well. So they're easily searchable, findable and indexed too. So let's get started. This site pretty much has nothing on. It's just a test site. So let's just go ahead to the plugins. Let's go to add new and let's find this. First of all, search our video gallery and look for the all-in-one video gallery. Now, like I said, this is free. It also doesn't include a pro version however the free version is really good and it's pretty much going to cover all of the uses that you need so far if you do need the pro version of course you can look into that so just go ahead install now and then activate the plugin it's going to ask you for some permissions once downloaded i'm just going to skip this because i don't need uh, to opt in for the security feature notifications however you should if you are going to be using this long term it does help to stay up to date with anything security wise now once loaded up you are going to be brought to your dashboard your dashboard is how you can set up your short codes which we're going to go through shortly so let's just leave this bit for now let's just head straight to the settings so settings wise you can change everything from the width the ratio whether you want it to loop be muted preload how you want it to preload whether it's automatic metadata or no preloading here you can also choose the player controls whether you want them to have subtitles duration a progress bar current time quality selector and speed control so it does give you a good amount of features that you can use for this as well next up choose your quality levels and this is where you can choose your native controls so as you saw with my uh, youtube video i didn't have the youtube controls on there i had the controls um, from this plugin right here if you do want to change it so you do have all the video controls the links you know subscribe here and it'll take you to your youtube channel then click youtube it'll then show the native controls as well. Same goes with Vimeo, Daily Motion, and also Facebook comes um, as default tick. Now I do suggest just going through your uh, settings first. It really does take about 10 minutes. You can choose your video layouts, how they show, how many columns. At the moment we have three, as you saw on my last preview, we had three columns. You can change that even to one to make it more like a, a phone where you scroll one video after another. Limit per page, how you want it to be ordered by, where you want the thumbnails to show, and of course, what you're gonna be showing on the thumbnails. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of this bit by bit. You can see we have the categories layout, single video layout, uh, image settings, and also the pagination settings. So click on all of these, make sure that they are gonna suit you, your website, your site, the screen size now here's going to be where you choose your share buttons these come under the videos where the people want to share the videos um, let's say you want to take tumblr off we can take tumblr off and just save it right here another neat little thing is you can add your twitter name so when they do share it it's going to be attributed to that twitter user so go ahead and add your twitter name there as well Another interesting one is the permalink slug. So um, for mine, it'll be wordblogger.com forward slash. It will then have this, then forward slash the video name. So potentially you might want to put, I'm going to put JDog video. So it'll be forward slash JDog video forward slash whatever the video is called. After that, you also have the advanced setting, which is just to delete media files, um, remove data on uninstall, and also to add your Vimeo access token if you do have one. Then you've also got your page settings and also the privacy settings as well. So just go through all of this, make sure it's all suiting you, your website, and how you want it displayed. Perfect. Boring but over it let's go to the videos so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to start off with actually uploading the videos and getting the library ready let's just upload two videos now so i can also show you how you can display it on your pages so on the videos tab we're going to go to add new just like you would do with a new post and this is where it does help to have something like all in one seo or yoast seo installed unfortunately i don't have it on here but as you can see on this site i do have the all in one seo installed so we do still get these sections, the snippet preview, you can see what it looks like with a social, add a social image, and just check all our SEO and make sure that it's really up to date and really optimized. So now let's say I've got my videos and it, um, you can do this through obviously many different sources, you just need the link. Um, so I'm gonna do this through YouTube first. So let's just grab a video off one of my channels, pause that, let's just grab the actual URL itself, that's all you need, you don't need the embed code, and let's just come back to here. Here you can go ahead, add a title for the video, add a description for the video, and of course you do have like the simple editor here, so you can add links within the words, change the paragraphs, add headings, lists, make it bold, italic, and that sort of stuff. So your general editing. Next up we're gonna go to the 
other source types, this is going to be where you actually got it from. So obviously we're going to be YouTube. You can either go Vimeo, Dailymotion, Facebook, iFrame, Embed Code as well. With the self-hosted, you can either upload the file yourself, which I actually um, would probably not do because it's just going to drag your website down quite a lot. So I would suggest uploading it on somewhere free, whether it be Facebook, whether it be YouTube, and just linking it that way. It doesn't take any of your memory, none of your website memory. It's just going to be coming from the other social with a very nice link to play it back from yours. So now with YouTube selected, all we're going to do is we're just going to paste in the URL there of the YouTube video. Now the neat thing is that we can also upload the thumbnail. So let's just go ahead and upload the file. So I'm just going to use any old thumbnail for this because this is just a test. Once you've uploaded, make sure to add a title, some alt text as well, just to help out with your SEO. We can also add a really uh, neat timestamp to tell you how long it is. So we can see here it's 5 minutes 39 seconds. If we go back over here and we add 5 colon 39, it's also going to display um, as we first saw. And it will tell you on the thumbnail how long the video is. You can also check of views so if i wanted to be cheeky and give myself 120 extra views for absolutely no reason i can do so we're not going to go through uploading the file uh, for subtitles however if you do have a file for subtitles this is where you can load it and you can also have subtitles shown along the bottom you can add uh, manual excerpts to your video custom fields as well allow disallow comments or allow trackbacks and pinbacks as well you can also choose who the author is going to be with all that stuff done let's move to the sort of widget area of this page which is going to be first of all you're going to get your short code if you want to use this single however we'll be going through how to display this in just a second next up categories do you have any categories if you don't create a category make sure that you are categorizing everything next up we have video tags this is going to be really handy if somebody's searching or for your search feature you are using tags and if you do have Astro installed you're going to get a few more settings obviously this will differ to the theme your builder or whatever you're using now with that all done that is it we can just go ahead and publish this this would now publish the video with a featured image everything else that we added um, one more thing that I will add is you can also change the permanent link structure you can change completely what it says there it'll take you straight down to your settings and your permalinks and i do suggest having it on post name anyway this is going to be your preferred method even if you're doing blogs or posts to have it as your post name so if you haven't set that do that now save the changes and make your links look good once you post stuff. Anyway, with that done, we've now completed our video. If we go to our video here, we're going to see that we have one video in the library. Of course, this isn't going to be the greatest to display, but we can see it's showing 120 views and all the other information that we put. Now, time to display it. How do we display it? Uh, the best thing for this is actually showing you with this one, which actually has a few more videos on. So if I go to all videos over here, let's say you've spent some time, you spent a couple of hours, you've added a load of videos. I think I've got about nine videos here. How do you display these videos? And of course, you do have the video tag and video category sections right here I'm not going to go through them they're very self-explanatory you can either add more co uh, categories or arrange them or the same with video tags so we're not going to go through that let's go up to the dashboard and this is going to be how you can start arranging stuff on your page how you want them displayed if you want a search bar what you want the search bar to search so we're going to be doing the video gallery obviously the single video again very self-explanatory you can just upload and show a single video it will then give you the short code you can put your short code in wherever you want on your site however let's just go for a video gallery first um, for the free version and this is the only thing really you get with the pro version you get different templates with the free version you get the classic classics pretty good does it in the rows you can sort out how many rows you want from the settings anyway once you uh, once you've done that you want to find or you want to add what you want to show so I'm going to show all of my categories so this page is going to show every single um, category that I have so every single video don't need to bother with the tags unless you want specific tags showing now here I'm going to limit my page to nine because I've got nine videos it will look much nicer via 10 it'll look a little bit odd change that will limit it to your page however you like um, order by date posted view count random so you can have view count if you want to show the most viewed first and then the other order is whether you want it ascending or descending i'm just going to leave it on descending for now another thing that you can choose which you can also do which i really should have shown earlier um, is on the right hand section of your widget you can also select whether it's going to be a featured video or not if it is going to be a featured video and you want to show the featured videos only you can tick this little tick right here and of course you can go to the gallery and change anything or what you want to show on the gallery as well once you're happy with all the selections um, of how you want this particular shortcode display let's just go to generate shortcode and it's going to give you a nice neat little shortcode here which we're just going to copy perfect with that over let's go to pages let's go to um, add a new page obviously i already have a page on this website for this but let's just create a completely new test page um, get it up there and see what it's looking like after that let's just check the search form as well and um, just show you how that's working so let's just do a test video page now as mentioned before it is very simple you've done all the hard work now all you got to do is get uh, grab yourself a shortcode paste the shortcode in there 
Um, now, if we go to preview, you're going to see that it's going to be showing our videos very nicely. Obviously, this will be showing a lot more because this is uh, the website where I've uploaded a few more videos. With that all loaded up, we can see that we have a very nice variety of videos showing here. They're showing just like we wanted it in the settings with three rows or three columns, I always get that one mixed up. Either way, we've got three and then they line down and we've got a maximum of nine. And of course, they're showing in all the categories. Had I chosen just two categories, it would only show the videos in them two categories. Perfect, got it? Nice. So let's go with the search bar now. So we've got our page, we're displaying the videos that we want to display. And I just realized I called that test vidi page. We can correct that shortly. So uh, what we're gonna do again is we're gonna hover over the video gallery section. We're gonna go to dashboard one more time. Again, this is gonna be where you get all your short codes of how to display anything. Another thing to mention, obviously we showed the video gallery, single video works in pretty much exactly the same way, just with a single video. Uh, so I won't go through this, um, but you do also have the categories, how you want them to be uh, shown, whether you want it to be a grid, list, which one's gonna be the parent category to them all, how many columns, limit per page, order by, ascending, and all the normal sort of jazz. We're onto the search form now. Um, and we're going to be choosing what we want to search by. So do we want the template to be horizontal or vertical? I suggest uh, horizontal, unless potentially you're making it for a phone, so it might work a little bit more vertical. And what do you want to search by? If we do search by video um, title and description, it's just going to show us one search box, which we can search in there. If we choose a search by category as well, you can also search by category. And if we click search by tags, and um, we'll do all of them now just so I can show you, it's also going to give you another search box, which you can look search by tags. Personally, I take the tags off. It looks a little bit better, completely up to you though. So generate the short code after you've done that. Copy the short code over, come back to your pages and find the page that you're displaying it on. And let's go to our test video page and go back to edit that. So with that done, what we want to do is we want to add one more short code. I'm going to add my search bar on top of the videos. Of course, that makes more sense than having to go to the bottom to search for them. We're going to add a short code and we're going to paste it in our short code there. Now let's just go to update and check out the page. With that all done, let's just go ahead and check the live page. And as you can see here, we now have a search bar as well as our videos. That hasn't come out too nicely because it used to be on the right hand side. However, you can change that. Um, it's probably just my page is a little bit thinner because of the uh, the wide widgets over here. Either way, now you have your search bar. You can search by keyword right here. You can search through the categories which you've added on your category section, or you can search for tags as well. So let's just check this works. Shaders, let's just search for that one. Okay. There we go. And of course, it's uh, added this one because this one has a tag of that. So now, guys, you can start uploading your videos, sit back, relax, whilst people are spending more time on your website, increasing clicks on your website, time spent, and of course, making visitors come back because they've got some awesome things to check out without having to log on on lots of different social accounts. And you can have it all in one great place. So thanks for watching, guys. For any more tutorials like this, make sure to follow our channel, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, get notified if you want more uh, WordPress or Minecraft tutorials. And of course, if you're looking to start your own website yourself, www.seekerhost.app, you're going to grab yourself a great deal. We have some of the cheapest packages at the moment um, with the greatest features as well, including free emails for your website, free SSL certificate, one-click activations, super easy. Get started now and start editing your website. So thanks again for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.